Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to linearize a graph. Uh, this first slide tells you how error bars work. You should already know that. In any case, what I want you to look at is the graph here. It shows the period of a mass spring system graphed as a function of the mass, keeping the same spring. It also shows you the data table. We're going to look at this graph and ask, what kind of graph is that? You can tell that as the mass increases, the period also increases, but the rate at which it increases decreases, so it increases slower and slower. It also looks like it might be a sideways opening parabola or a square root curve, where the period is proportional to the square root of the mass. If we remember what we've learned about mass spring systems last year, you might remember the formula for that. Period is 2 pi root m over k, which we can rewrite in a more suggestive way, 2 pi over square root k times square root of m. And that does in fact show that the period is proportional to the square root of m, so it confirms our guess. But what we'd like to do is use the graph to find k. We'd also like to get an uncertainty in k. Now, Microsoft Excel can fit a square root curve. However, it will not tell you uncertainties. So in order to find the uncertainty in k, we need to linearize. And then we'll get an equation with an uncertainty in each term in the equation, or each parameter in the equation. And then we use that to calculate k. Uh, there are actually two ways to linearize it. The first way is the way that you learned last year, where we plot t squared against m. Notice what happens. If you put t squared, that becomes 4 pi squared over k times m. So if you plot t squared versus m, the slope becomes this. And so you can get slope. And once you have the slope, you can calculate k. That's the relatively easy way. That's the way you did it last year a few times. The other way is something called a log-log plot. Now that you're all done with pre-calculus, you should have seen logs and at least you know, know what they are. Basically, the logarithm is the inverse operation of the exponential operator. So if y equals e to the x, then x equals the natural log of y. Anyway, log t versus log m. So we get ln t equals the natural log of 2 pi over square root of k times the square root of m. ln t then equals the log of the product is equal to the sum of the logs, so natural log 2 pi over root k plus the natural log of square root m. And I'm going to write that instead of square root m, m to the 1 half power. And you might also recognize that when you take the log of something raised to a power, so natural log of x to the n is just equal to n times the natural log of x. So ln t equals the natural log of all this crap times or plus 1 half natural log of m. And we can also point out that when it says natural log of t here, that is our new y. And natural log of m is our new x, which means that our slope in this case we expect to be 1 half, and the intercept to be equal to the natural log 2 pi over root k. And the log-log plot is a tremendously powerful tool because you can use it any time
you have a function y equals some constant a times x raised to the power n. Any power law function like that, you can use the log log plot for. And because these come up all the time in physics, that means we like log log plots. So then what you do is you take the mass and you get the natural log of each value of the mass and you also get the uncertainties, which you know how to do now. And you do the same thing with t. And then you plot it and it is in fact linear. And then you look at this graph. The slope we expected to be about 0.5. So this does confirm that our slope is what we thought it should be, that that power is 0.5. And this intercept here is equal to the natural log of 2 pi over root k, and we can use that to calculate k. And then, of course, we find the uncertainty in the slope and intercept the way we usually do. And you draw the steepest, draw the shallowest, you find the slope of the steepest, slope of the shallowest, and the uncertainty in the slope is going to be half the difference. So slope equals steepest minus the shallowest over 2. And from there, it's stuff you already know how to do. What the log log plot is useful for is for finding the power. So in this case, we found that n equals 0.5, or 1 half. Then what you would do is, once you established that, you would then go linearize with t squared versus m to find k. Because the intercept, using the intercept to calculate things is usually not a great idea because uncertainties there can really screw you up. So what you do is you use the log, log plot to establish that, that is in fact a square root curve and not say a cube root curve, and then you would linearize the normal way.